How about Eddie Kilpa uh, joins us live from Dallas, Texas, to speak on the uh, the fate of Donald Trump. Uh, Mr. Okpa, if you can hear me, I mean, Mr. Yes, I yeah, Mr. Trump just appears to be like a, a cat with nine lives. Several indictments. Yes, his favorites to clinch the Republican nomination. Well, that's what the polls say. Why is this so? Well, thank you for having me. Uh, uh, for disclosure, I, I'm a Trump supporter. I supported him for the first time, and I'm supporting him for the second time, despite the indictment, until something else says that he is not a candidate. You know, Trump is a man who behaves like a freshly poured concrete. He gets stronger every second. Only Trump, only him, can survive what the Democrats have done to him, not a Republican. Other Republicans would have caved in. And the Americans know this. The Americans know that some of these charges, this indictment, the first time in the history of, 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 our, of our country that a former president is being picked upon by things that shouldn't even be there. So that is angering people. And because of that anger, a lot of people are supporting him because we want to see him as a nominee, and you know, hopefully it's going to be a very match of uh, Trump and Biden. Um, the indictment is what the indictment is. It's not a conviction uh, until the court is, you know, hears all both sides and makes a, a determination as to guilt or not guilty. Even at that, what's going to happen, you know, it's going to be appealed. So you're looking at about a good five to some, you know, a good five years for this matter to be resolved. Of course, if he becomes president, it's a different matter altogether. Right, but Ms. what Okwa. is... Yes, Mr. Okwa, I I'm curious as to why you are a strong supporter of uh, Trump. Why has your confidence in him, you know, remained steadfast over time? But because I like what he did when he was the uh, president. I mean, you know, for the four years he was there and all the things that were being thrown at him, he was still able to get a lot of things done. I like him for the fact that he was the one president that said nobody should die coming to America. If you want to come to this country, which is what a lot of us have done, you know, whether you came four seconds ago or 400 years ago, as long as you claim this country and you enter it legally, you are an American. My father wouldn't have let me leave Nigeria if I didn't have my visa. In fact, I had to show him visa. I was denied visa two times. So well, that's what Trump is. But for the Democrats, it's like, come one, come all. There is no integrity for any country if everybody just comes in. I mean, you take the case of Nigeria. What if everybody in, in Chad and Niger and Cameroon is start flooding Nigeria? We're just going to have a reaction. Well, so the well, reason that... Mm, you, you know, I've listened to you reel out why you are, you know, in so much support for Mr. Trump. But then, are you in support of his belief that the last elections were rigged and that uh, the Democrats did not actually win the poll? Well, you know, I, I have my I have my views on that, but that's what I'm under the bridge. I'm not going to get back into whether he won or not. The fact is that somebody else is in the, is in the White House as president. There. You know, President Biden is in there. So, you know, it, just like uh, the assassination of uh, uh, Kennedy, some people still tell stories about it, whether it was a conspiracy from the inside or the outside. Is that just the nature of, of, of people? There are always going to be two sides or more than two sides to an issue. So the thing is now we have an opportunity for Trump to emerge as a new nominee for the Republican Party. I mean, the time is still long, uh, but so far he's leading. And um, if he makes that by March next year, we'll know who the nominee is, and then we set for the election in November. But so far, you know, he's looking good, despite, you know, the, the indictment, because we know some of the indictments are ridiculous. I'm not a lawyer, but when this thing started out, I was just, I was just tickled by it, because I said, you know, it's going to backfire, and it's backfiring. Mm, all right, then. I must sincerely appreciate you for sharing your thoughts with us. Global Affairs Analyst, AGK Opa, thank you for talking to us on The World Now. Well, thank you for having me.